Hey everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to make these super cute pumpkin macarons with a cream cheese filling. These macarons are full of pumpkin flavor and perfect for the fall season and Halloween. To get started, sift 65 grams of almond flour and 65 grams of icing sugar into a large bowl. Add 1 8 teaspoon of cream of tartar and 50 grams of room temperature egg whites to a mixing bowl and whisk at high speed. Once it's foamy, stream in 40 grams of granulated sugar. Whip until you get stiff peaks like this. Add it to your almond flour and icing sugar and start folding. As soon as it comes together, take a little bit out into another bowl. We will dye this brown for the pumpkin stem and dye the rest orange for the pumpkin. Along with folding, you should press the spatula against the side of the bowl to knock extra air out. Fold and repeat until it runs off your spatula like lava. Add both batters to separate piping bags with small round tips. Pipe the pumpkins in oval shapes or round. After all, pumpkins come in different sizes so as long as half of them match each other, it will look good. Tap your sheet tray to get any air bubbles out. I use a toothpick to help me too. Pipe half of them with little stems with the brown batter. Let them sit for up to 30 minutes to dry out. This ensures they don't spread and rise up to form the feet. Bake one tray at a time. I bake them at 310 Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. But since every oven is different, this may not work for you. Try anywhere from 300 Fahrenheit to 320 Fahrenheit. Sometimes if the temperature is too high, they will rise too fast which can cause hollow shells. For the filling, make sure the cream cheese is at room temperature before starting. Using a stand mixer with a paddle attachment, whip a quarter cup of cream cheese for about one minute. Add two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, one teaspoon of vanilla, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one eighth teaspoon of ginger, quarter teaspoon of cloves, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon and two tablespoons of icing sugar. Mix until everything is combined and scraping down the sides until there is no lumps of cream cheese left. For the details, I used edible markers. You can draw it like I am here or try out other patterns you like. Now pipe on the filling. Make sure not to pipe too much because when we put the top shell on, the filling will spread out. Put the top shells on and you're done. Look how cute these are. They're so adorable. I cannot handle it. Now, chill them in the fridge to set and they are ready to be enjoyed. The pumpkin puree and spices give these macarons the classic pumpkin spice flavor. If you're looking for a great fall themed dessert, you definitely need to give these a try. And I can guarantee when you serve them at least one person will say they're too cute to eat. Trust me. Someone always says it. Thanks for watching! Bye! Like and subscribe please!